Moroni prophecy, a father's sacrifice based on Genesis 22 through 23. Isaac and I must go on a journey. Saddle the horses. But this is a journey like no other. No one knows that as a test of faith, God has told Abraham to sacrifice his son. Over a lifetime of faithfulness, Abraham has learned to obey God. But he does not understand this perplexing command. How could God ask such a thing? I know it's absurd, but I must believe that even if I sacrifice Isaac, God will give him back to me somehow, even if it means raising him from the dead. Leaving the servants behind, they trek up the mountaintop, but Isaac's curiosity grows. Something is wrong. This isn't how we usually do it. Alone on the mountaintop, Abraham and Isaac build an altar. Here's the wood, Father, but where's the animals to sacrifice? God will supply the sacrifice, my son. Suddenly, Abraham turns and binds his son. Father! If God wants me to give him my only son, I will obey. Suddenly, Abraham hears the voice of God. Don't lay a hand on your son. I would never truly let you do such a thing. But you have proven that you are fully devoted to me. You didn't hold back even your son. As Abraham breathes a huge sigh of relief, he spots a ram caught in a nearby bush. A ram for the sacrifice. Thank you, God. Quickly, Abraham releases Isaac and puts the ram in place on the altar. Father, you gave me to God, and he gave me back to you. Yes, my son. It was a test of faith. Isaac, never doubt the wisdom of the love of God. With joyous hearts, Abraham and Isaac give thanks to God. I swear in the name of myself that because you obeyed me, I will bless the whole world through your children. Sarah rushes out of the camp to greet them. Isaac, what happened? You left here a boy, but you have returning man, like your father, strong and wise. From my father, I learned the cost of faith, and from God, I learned the reward of faith. In the years that follow, the tribe of Abraham prospers. Then one day, sad news spreads quickly through the camp. Sarah has died.